May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Queen Six proud to celebrate the rich history of Asian Americans right here in our area. Food, you know, really is one of the easiest ways to be able to connect with others and their cultures. That's exactly how I got to know my colleague, meteorologist Kelly Bayern. We're both Asian American women, and recently we finally got the chance to sit down for lunch. We're gonna do the pork shalambao soup dumpling. Because we have to have dumplings. We have to have dumplings. So I know you were born in Seattle, right? Or Seattle yes. area? I was born in Seattle and my mom actually emigrated from Taiwan in her 20s and met my dad. I think what's interesting about my, my background is that people can't really tell that I look or that I am Chinese. Um, I think a lot of folks look at me and say, maybe there is something there, but it's never Chinese as the first guess. Teachers even have said that I, that I lied throughout, throughout school. So it was, no. that was just kind of strange because there's nothing to lie about, you know? <laughs> like I have a Chinese mom, I'm half Chinese, I'm very proud of it. Um, and that was something that was strange to me growing up. I'm, I'm a very white passing Asian person, so I also never had too many struggles with racism in that, in that sense. And I know that's, that's a huge issue still in this day and age, and stuff that my mom has faced too, going out to stores and, and being harassed by people. So um, I got that end of the stick and didn't deal with that, but folks like my brother and some of my half Asian friends who did turn out to look more Asian than I did, dealt with those issues. You know, trying to fit into the Asian culture, it wasn't easy. You're looked at as an outsider. And then, you know, to go around and say that I'm Asian, people say that, that I'm lying. So it, it definitely put me in a spot where I didn't really know how to act. And now that I'm older, I just wish that at the time I just had the courage to be like, this doesn't matter. Like, I am me, I'm half Asian, and I am proud of this. So I guess, like, now I just, I just really try to share as much as I can about the Asian culture in a way that's easiest for me and that's just through cooking yeah. and, and eating. That connects us, you know, and you said it, it's like whether you go out to eat here, you're with your friends or you're at home in your kitchen, I think that's like, it, it's, it goes over boundaries of language. Yeah. Food it's connects just, us. I make steam bows and I think that is what connects me mostly to my mom, just using the steamer, having to pleat the dough and I make them quite often too. How did you learn? I learned through watching my mom and then also a lot of stuff online. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Shisha. <laughs> you have to say shisha is how you say thank you. Shisha. The vinegar is so good. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like such a nice balance to the meatiness of one full dumpling. That's one of my favorite dishes. I had the first time when I was in Taiwan and something about the texture of the vegetables. It's amazing uh, to see all of the buildings, see Tiananmen Square, like see the Great Wall, and just do all of these things and really immerse myself in the culture and really the food um, was one of the, the best trips I've ever taken. So I have been to Taiwan and uh, China. I have relatives in Beijing and also in Taipei. So it was really cool to go there. It, I was a senior in college, so when I was older and enough to kind of understand the culture, and have you know more in-depth conversations with my relatives who are all English speaking. Comfort food is what brings you back to a great place and a dish that reminds you of that. Yeah, it just brings back um, such a good feeling and so much happiness for me. And just a, a good connection back to my mom. My boyfriend is half Korean, so I've been able to learn about his culture. Mm -hmm. He also has a white father and a Korean mother, so I've learned a lot of cooking technique from her and it's just, you know, because I'm interested in this, it's brought our relationship closer. I think food is so great because it really opens the door um, and allows you to see other people's perspectives on things, on life, on um, their opinions, and food is just the gateway to that. Food connecting us. Mm, that food was so good and so grateful to Kelly for opening up. Now be sure to tune into our Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month special that is next week on Thursday, May 26. We do have so many more stories and you see this right here because in that show, Kelly is going to go into the kitchen there at that restaurant Duck House to see how a dim sum artist creates those mouth watering dumplings. So you'll want to catch that next week as well. Oh, what a great story. <laughs> Thanks for sharing Kelly's story with us, Elizabeth.